wanted to show you guys my super glamorous outfit of the day. <laughs> Um, I have been loving wearing these little two-piece sets from Target. Um, this one I picked up yesterday in a size medium. I just love them. They're so comfortable. There's always like a cropped loose top with a matching set of shorts. I also have this cute black set. Um, these are just like my go-to work from home outfits because they look normal on the top and you're just comfortable on the bottom. Okay, also, I really wanted to show you guys, a few of you asked me from my last video, um, I think it was like a couple vlogs ago, what foundation I use. Um, so I'm just gonna explain it real quick. So the powder foundation that I used in my last two vlogs ago, I think, um, it's called the BB Powder Foundation um, from Physicians Formula. It looks like this. And I have to buy this on Amazon because they do not sell it in stores anymore. I use the light medium color. And I'm pretty, I mean, I can get pretty tan in the summer. I have used the medium dark color before when I'm really tan or if I had a spray tan or something like that. Um, but this foundation is great. I use it with um, like a setting spray and then it stays on all day long and has really good coverage. Um, so that is the foundation that I use and I'm going to use a little bit of that today to get ready because I am going to film some videos for my students so I'll show you guys the finished product. Okay so this is what the foundation looks like on with nothing else so I just used the BB powder from Physicians Formula you can get it on Amazon just look up Physicians Formula BB powder and it comes right up. And then I use to set it or to as a base, I use the Grace and Stella spray all day. It's just a rose spray. Um, you could probably use like your Max uh, Skin Finish or like any other setting powder that you have, or sorry, setting spray that you have, and it would do the same trick. So this will stay on all day. It won't like start looking funny. If you follow my Instagram, um, a lot of my really late posts when I'm like playing The Sims or something, I still have this on from the day and it still looks really good. I'm just gonna finish getting ready, drink my Superfoods coffee, and then I'm gonna get started and get to work. stream videos using my Mac computer and I just really just go live on YouTube um, and I'm reading a novel to my students and this is just holes this is not a third grade level text but because it's being read aloud to them they're not even following along at home I thought it would be really fun to read to them I also promised them that I would read this to them by the end of the year because it is my favorite book um, and so I am going day by day and just going live on my YouTube, my school YouTube. So this YouTube channel is connected to like my school email. Um, everything on it is unlisted and private, so it's not open for like you guys to see. Um, it's really just for my students, but I just go live on YouTube. It is the fastest way to film and get something up for my students. If I'm doing a video lesson, then I film it on my camera and I edit it using it. <laughs> and I edit it using iMovie. It just kind of depends on what information I'm trying to get out to my students. If it's something quick and I don't really need to worry about like making sure to cover something specific, then I just go live on YouTube. It's really fast, it's really easy. And I always make this unlisted so that the kids can't like jump on here and watch me do it live. I would rather have it be unlisted just so that only they see it. Good morning, pumpkins. Today we're going to read another couple of chapters from Holes. If you don't mind, I have my morning coffee here. And I'm sorry about yesterday we got interrupted. I had a couple of teachers asking me questions, so I had to cut the video short. But I am back today with the rest of our chapters for this week.
just filmed my ELA lesson for week three of virtual learning. We are doing procedural text reading. So the kids are reading a passage. These are from Common Core Kingdom. I use them all the time in my classroom. Um, but this one is how to make a grilled cheese sandwich. And so the kids are gonna read this. They're gonna have a Google form to answer the questions that were included here. The kids who are picking up packets are just receiving this with the questions on it. And then for writing, we are challenging our kids to write their own procedural text on how to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So that is their two ELA assignments. They have a reading assignment and a writing assignment. So I made two anchor charts here. They're not pretty, you guys. They're not like Pinterest worthy at all, but they work. So the first one is just what is a procedural text, the parts, um, what they all have and then examples of different types and then on this one is just sequencing or clue words for um, What you would see in a procedural text and what you would use while writing one So I just went um, ahead and made a video for the kiddos um, I am teaching all of the kids for ELA so Every week I make the ELA videos and teach the ELA lessons and I create the ELA content while my teammates make math science, social studies, and social emotional learning. So we all are kind of separating the work between each other. So I am done for week three. Um, and so I'm gonna wait until next week to film for week four because next week is week three. Um, and then, so I kind of film like a week behind every week. So I am officially done working for this week, I have my materials posted for the rest of the school year. So for um, weeks four through seven, because there's seven weeks left. Um, so I have all my materials posted for weeks four through seven. So all I have to do is film and post the videos and then take all of the assignments and videos from my teammates and post them into Google Classroom. So that is really exciting. Um, now I just have to think about what I'm gonna do with the rest of my day. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna get on to WebEx, which is the video conferencing tool that my district is using. We're not using Zoom. Um, the kids and I are using Google Hangout slash Meet because Zoom has been deemed like unsafe for students. So anything that we do with the kids, we're trying to not use Zoom. I still use Zoom with like family members and friends. In fact, I really wanna Zoom my teacher tuber friends. <laughs> we like try to Zoom every week and we didn't Zoom. I did, did we Zoom last week? I'm not sure, I don't remember. Um, but we don't use Zoom for our students because it's just not a safe platform just with all of the like weird stuff going on. So I think what I'm gonna do is just get on WebEx, make sure that there's nothing else pressing that I need to like talk to anyone about. And then I'm going to clean up my office here because it is kind of a mess. Um, I'm almost done with my superfoods coffee and you guys actually really like it. Uh, I think I put too much water in it um, and so it's a little watered down, but it still tastes good. It tastes like coffee. We'll see if I get the caffeine headache, if it's got enough caffeine in it to sustain my body's addiction. Um, and then after this, when I'm done cleaning, I think I'm gonna go hang out with Scott, play Sims, maybe work out. I don't really have any motivation to work out right now. Neither does he. It's been really hard to find motivation. Um, Okay guys, so since I'm officially done working for the day and the rest of the day I am just to be available for my students if they need anything, um, I'm gonna play Sims because it's 11.45 and I have nothing else to do. The laundry's put away, I could clean up, 
but let's be real, it's just gonna get messed up again as soon as Cash comes home, so I'm just gonna sit and play Sims. I'm gonna show you guys my little setup here. I am a total nerd, like, I'm not even playing. This is just my tripod. I pull my recliner chair over, and I park right in front of the TV. I know what you're thinking, Charlotte, you are way too close, you're gonna get TV poisoning, but you guys, I have really bad eyes, <laughs> so if I don't sit this close, it's hard for me to see um, even though the TV is kind of big, it's still really hard for me to see. So anyway, I'm going to play Sims. I might show you guys a few clips of my game, but that is what I'm probably going to end up doing until about 3.30. Okay, so I played Sims for about an hour and a half, and then I got just tired of looking at it. So I came and plopped on the couch, ate a little bag of popcorn, I watched a Disney Channel original movie, I watched Get a Clue, the one with Lindsay Lohan, and I've just been like playing on my iPad. I was on Pinterest, I was on Amazon, putting lists together, um, making a wish list for my classroom for next year, emailed my new principal. It th turns out I'm gonna be able to possibly move my classroom in at the beginning of May, which is great because I'll be able to go and pack up my classroom in May. So I'll probably be able to um, let go get a U-Haul, pack up, um, and then move into my new classroom. Um, probably won't be able to start setting up yet, but at least I can move my stuff in there so I don't have to get a storage unit. So that's really positive. Now I am going to watch the Cheetah Girls. And I just ordered some Thai food on DoorDash. So that should be here in the next 15 minutes. And then I'm going to go pick up Little Cash Man. And, um, and then I'll check in with you guys when he gets here. What, baby? Watch the Fireman. You want to watch Fireman Sam? Okay. <laughs> Cash is officially home. You gonna sit with Mama? I'm gonna watch the Fire Sam. Okay, sit with me. The Fire Sam. We're gonna watch Fireman Sam. Fireman Sam. Okay, Fireman Sam is one of Cash's favorite shows. And when we say watch, we mean like it's on and he plays. <laughs> um, it's on Amazon Prime video and it's really cute we like it huh can you say hi <laughs> you gonna hide <laughs> so it's 4 15 and we're gonna watch fireman sam for a little bit and then we'll probably make dinner around six yeah we're gonna watch it and then we'll go for our nightly walk we might ride a scooter, we might walk, we might ride in a stroller. I don't know, we'll see what he decides. Yep, here we go, Fireman Sam. Mm. <laughs> and take off your shoes? No. Here, kick them off.
Okay, so I made some homemade pizza for cash. I just put a flatbread with some tomato sauce and cheese, carrots and applesauce, and then I'm having Thai chili to go, which is basically Thai food. It's green curry. Let's see what he's doing in here. What's the matter? Is it stuck? No, 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 you can't sit down. There. Do you want to come eat dinner? Yeah, oh, no, it's stuck. Hey, you guys, so it is now about 7.30. We are watching one episode of his favorite show, and then we're gonna go read books and get ready for bed. He's got his milk. <sighs> After he goes to sleep, I'll probably edit this vlog. That way I can post it on Wednesday for all of you. So I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. If you're not already, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram so that you can see more daily updates. And thank you guys so, so much for being here and for watching. And I hope those of you who are working from home, I hope that you are finding some... <laughs> time for yourselves in addition to time for um, your work life. So anyway, enjoy and um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.